So yeah, I just don't really believe this narrative. For days you have all this social media chatter out of Peru of these terrifying alien encounters. And now, oh, it was just illegal gold miners. Just those poverty-stricken gold miners. And they put on a show that would put Universal Studios to shame. Seven foot tall alien creatures levitating. Spaceships seen by uh, people in Peru. People chasing aliens in their backyard and recording video. Grandmothers screaming for their kids to come inside. Oh, just gold miners. They just wanted the locals to stay away from their gold mine. For all that effort, they could have launched a whole new gold mine somewhere else. What a lazy cover-up story. Now, one of you guys said that the alien encounters were actually quite peaceful, and it's Western media that then came in and said all this nonsense about them being face peelers and slitting people's throats and all that stuff. That would make more sense to me, right? This official story debunking the rest of us makes zero sense. Poverty-stricken day laborers. Some day laborers who wanted access to their gold mine so they could dig through more dust or little flecks of gold. They put on one of the best light shows of all time. Where'd they get the money from? Where'd they get the technology from to do that? If these are just poverty stricken gold miners working for a day's pay. And this shows you why gold's stupid. Why are people even mining gold in the Peruvian forest, in the jungle, in the year 2023? So no, don't sit here and debunk my videos. Either be intrigued, be intrigued because these are interesting stories that everybody with a brain is focused on or go somewhere else. Thank you so much. This should be worldwide news right now. They are taking it serious in Peru, but they're not taking it serious anywhere else. Why is that? You've probably heard about the tribe in Peru that claimed it was attacked by aliens. They call the aliens face peelers because when they attack their victims, they remove the flesh from their skulls. These reports are coming out in the wake of the UFO hearings here in the United States, and many people are wondering if the two things are related. So the question is, is Peru being invaded by an extraterrestrial race, or is the news item nothing more than a psyop to keep attention on the alien narrative? Additionally, for centuries there have been stories and legends of a creature in South America that can dismember human beings with surgical precision. It's called a pistaco, and it's a little like South America's version of a vampire, but many people do sincerely believe in its existence, so it's only natural that they should be connecting this old legend to the new threat of the face peelers. The villagers describe the face peelers as seven feet tall, silver in color, with large, long heads and yellow eyes. They can levitate, and they appear to wear some armor which makes them impervious to human weapons. Even more unsettling, they seem to be able to disappear and reappear at will on the spot. It's claimed that a recent bit of footage has surfaced showing one of these creatures, and you can see it here. It's humanoid with a large head and glowing a little like Mr. Burns in that famous Simpsons episode. But the villagers say this is no laughing matter. At least one 15-year-old girl was injured when a face peeler supposedly took a swipe at her neck and split open the skin. Fortunately, she survived, but the military was forced to step in to quell the panic and to root out this new menace. Believe it or not, this is turning into big news. The world is getting stranger. Okay, so Peruvian TV has shown this, supposedly. Then they call them the face peelers. I posted a video early about this incident in Peru, and this has been going on since the 11th of July. Uh, whether this is legit or not, I do not know. Uh, if it is, it's pretty crazy. Incredible news. Also, we have this. That may prove extraterrestrial life exists. The fuzzy video, reportedly filmed in a remote Peruvian jungle in 2018, shows a slender six foot tall humanoid with pale skin eerily walking between trees the creature's oversized head long neck and spindly limbs resemble descriptions of the alien greys found in supposed eyewitness accounts and we also have this this is supposedly one of the aliens that's in a gas station in peru and a truck actually runs through it and nothing happens. You know, this is crazy. What are these things? Are they aliens? Or what else could they be? And this is some more footage of a 
pretty clear footage of one of the aliens right you know recently uh, within the last 24 hours that was taken I was told a uh, piece of a video that I found and it's looks pretty clear this was taken by uh, a resident of one of, of this village and you know I just don't think it's fake I think this is very real it looks it seems to be it appears to be very real and look at it it kind of reminds me of what we heard about in Vegas. When you look at this, the description reminds me of the Vegas aliens, although we never could get a clear picture. This goes to more of what David Gross was talking about when he said they were interdimensional, when they were actually from here. And you know, people don't realize that. You automatically think they're from another planet. And I'm going to be honest with you, I think what they're seeing and everything that we're seeing right now and what's happening in Peru, I believe these are, if they're not demonic, they're as close to demonic as you can get. They're definitely in our earth. They're definitely, they are definitely highly advanced. They've probably been here forever and we just don't know it. And there's a reason that they're coming out now. And I told you, remember, I told you if they keep pushing this and they keep letting everybody know what's going on and they keep disclosing it, then they're not going to have any reason to hide any longer. Be ready because before it's over with, they're going to be hitting places a lot more populated than a little village in the Amazon jungle. In the Amazon jungle, an eerie investigation is underway after reports of bizarre occurrences in a village. The locals claim they are being menaced by seven F.E. tall armored aliens with large heads and yellow eyes in Peru. Locals describe creatures resembling the Green Goblin from the Spider-Man franchise. These astonishing claims have emerged from the Iquitu indigenous people, residing in the remote district of Alto Nane, northeast of Lima. According to their accounts, a 15-year-old girl was allegedly attacked by one of these mysterious monsters. Desperate to defend themselves, hunters have fired their guns at the creatures, but it appears these beings are immune to human weapons and can vanish at will. Various theories surround these enigmatic sightings, ranging from real extraterrestrial beings to creatures from local folklore. Some speculate that the creatures might be drones camouflaged with cloth and masks, used to frighten the villagers by illegal miners. Others suggest it could be a case of mass hysteria. The police and Navy have taken up the investigation, and the locals are calling for a military force to be deployed in the region, which is a remote 10-hour river ride from Iquito City. The mystery deepens as authorities seek to uncover the truth behind these perplexing claims. Este impresionante video captó ese instante en que los habitantes le disparan a los supuestos seres como ven medio de la noche. Los vecinos dicen que están aterrorizados. Ellos describieron a los entes como gigantes que miden casi siete pies de altura y que visten trajes que parecen de astronautas. Vamos a escuchar. Son extraterrestres estos señores. Son vestidos este, con blindados. Son tipo del hombre verde que parecía el hombre verde. Igualitos son señores. Dios les valió dos veces y no caen. En vez de que caen se elevan y se desaparecen, señores. Los miembros de la comunidad están haciendo vigilias por las noches para protegerse y tratar de capturar a los supuestos seres extraterrestres que dicen habrían atacado a una joven. This has happened before. Miners will go in and try to scare the wits out of villagers by pretending to look like aliens, etc. Ben Hansen is an expert. He is like one of the best UFO investigators out there, and he was one of the first people to throw cold water on all of this. So what was your first clue, Ben? You were so quick uh, with your assessment. Well, thanks for teaming me up for such high expectations, first of all. <laughs> um, so what's really weird about this, uh, the whole thing is weird, okay? So let's try to unpack this a little bit. The events, a lot of the events that are being reported are true. We have video of the authorities showing up. We have video of the villagers running out to into the jungle shooting at something, okay? But after the investigation, what they come out with is they say that uh, the, the prosecutor says that they believe uh, the, the police investigation summarizes that these were miners protecting gold, okay, with jet packs, that they're flying around on jet packs with hoods and masks and glowing something and going around cutting people's throats. So let that sit just for a second. 
it really sounds like an episode of Scooby Doo where you know Mr. Withers puts on a goblin mask and is is trying to protect his gold. It it is almost far fetched as the fact that the the villagers believe these are seven foot aliens. Thank you for watching. Okay, folks, we know about the Peruvian alien invasion and we have some new video some pretty good video of those alleged aliens i'm showing them right now on screen here on the nerd report tiktok uh let us know what you think is this real or what's going on it's a helicopter in the area and let's see real quick what the alien is about to sh be shown here i believe once again right here this is not it this guy right here is allegedly the alien this was um via a footage we posted on the nerd report youtube channel do me a favor folks head over to the nerd report youtube channel uh this is not as clear as it is over there right here this channel right here head over there and subscribe we do have the footage uh that you just saw in high definition uh once again thanks for following us Talk to you later. Nerd out. The truth is out there.